All right, so today, out here on the pellet smoker, we're gonna be doing a peach cobbler. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my grill fired up, you know, get it ready to put that peach cobbler on there. We'll go ahead and set it to uh, 200. Turn the temp on, see if we can get some pellets put in there. Get it fired up. After it starts producing some smoke, we're going to set it up for about 300 to 50 degrees. That's where I'm going to cook this peach cobbler at. So, you know, once it gets heated up, we'll be doing a peach cobbler. We're going to get in there and start working on the process. You can tell from my apron I'm already a little dirty because I've been doing a little bit of stuff before I came out here to start up the smoker. But we're going to go in there and put that peach cobbler together, get it out here on the hot grill peach cobbler on the pellet grill. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, punch the like button. Be doing stuff like this all the time. Stuff you can do in your backyard. All right, so here we are back inside, about to do the peach cobbler out there on the pellet smoker. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare it up the way that I'm gonna do it. Um, now you can take the time and roll out, you know, your own dough if you wanted to, make that up. But what I did today, I just went and bought two pie crusts, and that's what I'm going to use for the bottom layer, and then I'm going to take the top layer, and I'm going to cut one-inch strips out of it to kind of lay over the top. So we'll just kind of show how that goes. I've got a cast iron skillet here. That's what I'm going to be using to do the cobbler in today outside on the grill. Got a little oil here. Just want to make sure that the that the skillet's oiled up. Keep it from sticking to the to the skillet. So put that oil in there. Now what I'm gonna take and do is I'm just gonna take this one pie crust and throw it down on the inside here. You know, we'll just kind of Form it to fit the inside of the the inside of the pan here. You know the overhang is good. We're gonna want that because whenever we put our filling inside here, once we lay those strips across the top, then we're gonna kind of pinch the edges to kind of make it into a you know where none of the insides pull out the around the edges. So the overhang is good. You know, that's what it should look like inside your skillet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and we're just going to cut about one inch strips out of this out of this other pie crust that we've got here. So we'll just take and just run the knife down through there. Just cut about one inch strips on it. Alright, so now we've got a, this pie crust is all cut up into our strips. <coughs> what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make the stuffing that goes inside it. I'm going to go ahead and do up the peaches that's going to go inside here. Uh, We'll get that all mixed up. We'll come back and throw it all together. Get it out there on the grill. Peach cobbler on the pellet grill. That's what we're doing today. All right, so here we are back. We're ready to put the stuffing inside here. What I did is I made up a peach cobbler filling that's gonna go in there. If you want another recipe, comment down below. I'll tell you what I put in there. I will tell you that there's one teaspoon of sweet baby Jesus in there. So, you know, if you want to know the rest of the recipe, comment down below and I'll, I'll send you the recipe. So we're going to just throw this filling inside this pan here. Alright, and then we're going to take our... Uh, pieces that we already sliced up 
we're gonna throw those on top of it. All right, so we've got our cobbler pieces laid on top there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and tear off my long ends. You know, as much of the as much of the pieces as I don't need. I'm just gonna tear those off all the way around. Alright, so we got all the pieces torn off of there. Now I'm just gonna take and kinda roll and pinch the edges. So now that we've got our cobbler all put together, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and brush the the top of it with a little bit of milk. Just run some milk across the top of it. You could use egg wash. You know, you could use whatever you wanted to use. Uh, I'm just using milk for this particular one. I'm going to take a little bit of sugar and just kind of drizzle the top of it with some sugar. Kind of give it a little crisp crust. You know, a sweet but crisp. So there we've got it. Peach cobbler. About to take it out there and throw it on the pellet smoker. You know, stay tuned. We're going to get this baby out there and throw it on the grill. See what we've got. I think it's going to take about 30 minutes, um, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we got the peach cobbler out here. Got the pellet grill all heated up. It's running good. We're just going to set that down here. Now uh, we're going to put it on this side. We want to keep it away from the fire as much as possible. Most of the heat's going that away. Most of the smoke's going that away. So I want to cook it down here on this end. Um, we're gonna let it roll in there for about 30 minutes, kind of till the crust starts turning brown. Um, you know, we'll check back on it here in a minute, but as long as the crust's brown and the peaches are bubbly, you got you some good peach cobbler. All right, so the peach cobbler's been on there about 35 minutes. We're starting to get some browning of the crust. You know, I think it likes about another probably five to ten minutes you know we'll check back on it here in a minute see where we're at I want the crust to be a little bit more brown around it and the top I want the top to kind of get brown so so we're gonna let it roll for about another five minutes or so let that crust brown up we'll take it inside and let it cool for a little bit cut it open see what kind of peach cobbler we got all right so that Peach cobbler ought to be done here on the pellet smoker. You know, the crust is looking real brown all around the outsides and the edges. I think it's ready to come off the grill. We're going to go ahead and get that inside. You can see it's bubbly, you know. So we're going to go ahead and bring that inside, let it cool off, cut it open, throw some ice cream on top of it. That's going to be some good stuff. So, this is what we're doing right here. Grilling and smoking in our backyard. Things you can do in your backyard. Alright, uh, so here we have it. Smoke peach cobbler. I went ahead and took a couple slices out. Just to show you what it looked like on the plate. You know, and I'm going to go ahead and take some ice cream. You can't have cobbler without ice cream. I'm going to put some ice cream on top of it. You know, that ice cream ought to melt down on the cobbler. Eat it up. So, this is what we got here. Smoked peach cobbler. This is what we'd be doing all the time. Smoking meats, grilling meats, even baking stuff. Stuff you can do in your backyard.